what they're probably learning either the seasoned bricklayers or they're probably learning or they might have a family and they just don't got time to sit watching youtube videos of bricklaying all day so that's why i think 10 minutes is a very good time to have a video um because i know there's not many videos of that sort of length they're all sort of daily vlog sort of videos day in the life of a bricklayer sort of videos and they're like 40 minutes an hour and to be honest a lot of that's just fucking filler rubbish just with people you're driving to and from a job who wants to see that it's the fucking boringest bit of being a bricklayer driving to and from through modern traffic it's fucking boring so um speaking of speaking of gopros and day in the life sort of stuff i'm i am going to end up getting a action cam at some point i'm not buying a gopro they're too expensive you know i've got i've got a two-year-old kid and i've got you know a family in a house and i've got bills i ain't got fucking time to be spending silly money on that but i'm gonna end up getting i've seen an alternative for about 80 pounds um a pretty good action cam from a a lower budget brand that records in 4k 30 fps so easily as goes my iphone so i'm gonna end up getting that get a helmet helmet mount and do it pretty cheap hopefully i can get it all done all all for under 100 quid because you know even though i you know even though in these videos you see me laying a load of bricks you know i do earn good money on the days obviously i'm recording but there's obviously the days you don't see where i get rained off stuff like that so you can't always just take you know what you earn in one day as face value and you're gonna earn that every day it never works like that you know stuff gets in your way but um gonna actually try put a little bit more effort into the videos uh in the coming time i might get my laptop back out and install imovie on it to uh create create some more longer form content at some point i'd like to get the head cam uh action cam on for pick and dip just to show you sort of uh, my technique and hopefully if i can get uh compare if i could get in touch with uh some other bricklayers on youtube hopefully i can get some hold of some of their foot uh get permission to use some of their footage from their youtube videos and just uh compare helmet cam footage with pick and dip not just for speed but for for technique in the first person i'd like to do that um because you know me doing this pick and dip by far i'm nowhere near the or near as fast as I could be doing it. Um, I just need more time to perfect the technique. But uh, there's definitely a lot, a lot more people on YouTube who are faster than me at this. So if I could somehow get some helmet cam footage of, uh, of myself doing it and then try to get some GoPro footage from some other YouTube bricklayers, um, that'd be a good, that'd be a very cool thing to like almost sort of collab in a way, but sort of also compare for the, you know, to just compare for the people trying to learn it you know this is different ways how people could do it because i know ev everyone you see who lays bricks always does it in a slightly different way and it just makes the foot the make makes the technique more relatable to more people and hopefully if more people adopt the pick and dip especially you know especially in the uk where i'm from you know there's a lot of people a lot of brick lays who think they know the fuck know everything you know they think the god's gift to earth and they know absolutely everything there is to know about bricklaying which it's just foot they just flat out no one knows everything no one knows how to do everything the best way like the way i'm building this boundary wall probably isn't the fastest way to do it but it's the way i've literally found i've literally found that's fastest for me at this point in time a couple of years down the line i might find a faster way and i'm not i'm not doubting for a second that i will so um it's definitely i've definitely got some plans in mind for these videos uh i really enjoy doing them i don't always get on straight bits of work like this i've had my fair share of shit work over the years but um hopefully when you guys get a chance to get on something like this straight running and i actually find that i'd probably lay more bricks running in like a gable on a house probably than this wall because there is less plumbing in the pillars and uh you see you can get your profile set up easier each end because i had to uh bang a pin in to the other side as you can see that's off camera to my left so that'll slow me down a little bit so this isn't even some of the best best work you could use for do you for doing pick and dip there's definitely better work that could be uh that you could be on you know for uh for, for using pick and dip but it's uh it's just a bit of a showcase a bit of a showcase today um when it comes to using the door frames i really like them especially what a really big chost chosty door frames like the ones i'm using today 
they sit very well they don't move at all just got one bit of timber on them no issues whatsoever with it moving and um, the gauge tape as well i can't emphasize anyone using that as well any you got any any bricklayers out there have got aluminium profiles and they aren't marked up or i don't even think getting them marked up is as, as, as good as gauge tape because if you get the gauge tape on you don't have to go to them marks you can literally put it on at any point and you can easily grind down or pick up or move it to the mark you need it to it's just so much more versatile i cannot emphasize enough to uh to anyone how much it's helped me because if anyone knows no one likes to get the fucking tape measure measure out and keep measuring it just wastes fucking time so if you can just take away that you know just one more thing out of your day you've got to do it just adds up to the whole day being a lot easier and just less less hassle so definitely recommend taking that extra time sand your profiles up fucking get that gauge tape laid on it's only about 10 quid off ebay and you can probably got enough gauge tape for like 10 profiles so uh definitely a massive massive must but yeah so as you can see it's raining in this footage bricks on the bricks i'm laying on naturally a really dry brick and the bricks are you can see they're a little bit damp anyway but they're holding the wetness well they're uh you know they weren't running at all they were they were nowhere near running they were just basically how a brick should be when it was laid but the rain helped me out on this day for once i left my hoodie in the car so i didn't even have a hoodie but luckily it was only a road cloud and it, it you know the rain left you know abruptly after this clip uh but yeah as you can see my water's really wet as well really soupy uh, I think at one point I show you how wet my mortar is. I'd, I think I might have cut it, cut it out in the edit, but as you can see, if you can see that water is glistening with water on top of it. So even with a really piss wet gobble, you can still lay efficiently pick and dip. Uh, you know the long spread variant. Um, yeah, that, that's really about it. What I want to talk about for this video, um, just a few thoughts, uh, just what I'm trying to maintain with this channel and basically you know my aim going forward just keep it 100 percent honest no bullshit I'm trying to keep the ego down to a minimum because i know there's a lot of egocentric youtube channels and i just see it gets boring after a while i know people want to learn people want to learn technique they want to learn to get better not see how you know see how you can boss your fucking labor around or how you can you know you know site banter's all right but You'll find a majority of building sites fucking people don't talk to each other you know and a lot of the sites that i've worked on uh the fucking people are boring most of the sites i work on people are fucking boring as fuck i hardly ever talk to anyone really uh, there's an odd few people i chat with one of me met you know one of my mates and my mentor who, who i was uh who I was apprentice with is on this site uh he's been a good mate for years and years and i i chat to him and his son and you know a few of the other apprentices the other apprentices on this job are pretty cool so i chat to them but you'll go majority of jobs and most of the bricklayers are fucking boring they're absolutely fucking boring and you and they're too busy rushing around trying to fucking earn money instead of fucking looking what they're doing whether they're doing it fucking effectively and efficient and uh, you know videos of people's gangs and stuff you know it's it's a bit of a fantasy when it comes to the real world you know when the people making these videos showing like the daily day-to-day -day basis with a gang on how much fun they're having or how much of a laugh they're having it's fucking fantasy mate there's fucking every site you go on you know especially in the uk if people are boring boring as fuck no one wants to talk to you everyone's busy trying to get on with the work uh so i just want to bring that that fucking honesty to the uh to the youtube space i'm gonna try to swear less and stuff because of the because uh you know, I don't want to get strikes against my account or anything. So, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, before I finish the video, uh, uh, I think I don't know how many course I've got left. I think I've got, yeah, I think I've got this my last course. So I'll best hurry up. Uh, I've got about 80, maybe almost 90 subscribers now. I've had the channel about a week and a half. I managed to mess around on my tablet and do the banner for it. The After 8 Harry is the After 8 Bricklayer really appreciate the comments i've been getting because a lot of guys have been pretty supportive about the videos um i'm really surprised that people enjoyed my sort of voiceover style commentary of the bricklaying how 
I explain things. Um, yeah, just ecstatic, really. You know, it gives me another reason to go to work in the morning. Which I don't. I already have a fucking tons of reasons why I've got to get go to work, but it just makes you know. I get home and I read a few comments about people enjoying the stuff I've been doing. So feels like you know I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm doing something I enjoy while I'm, while I'm working, making a video, and also you know laying bricks and earning money for the family. So it's uh, yeah, it's really good. It's really rewarding. You know seeing those comments so thanks so much for anyone who's uh, who's left positive comments and even the guys even guys who haven't got around to commenting and have just been liking the videos or what just watching really appreciate um you know your support as well and uh hopefully i'll hear from anyone in the comments and uh i'll always reply as soon as i see a comment and uh yeah thanks all for watching guys i'm gonna get smashing get uh smashing the boundary wall in tomorrow hopefully i can get it done and uh I'll uh, see you in the next one.